has been a while since I've done a Tech Monday. Let's fix that right now. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. I've been using Google to search the web since it looked about like this. And over the years, Google has added new features and new technology to make it more helpful so that I can find the information that I'm looking for. However, lately there is that old saying that keeps coming to my mind, just because you can add something doesn't mean you necessarily should. And that leads me nicely along to the newest feature that Google has now added, AI results, which appear right here at the top of your search. Now I can make an entire video on the pros and the cons of AI technology. But for today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get your old search results back. The tip that I'll be giving you today will work in both Windows and Mac on the Chrome browser. Let's say you wanna look up how to install a C fan. You click on search and you get all of this. You see that right here? Now, I think Google themselves have already realized the problem that this is because they recently launched this area right here. Notice that when I conducted the search, it was under the all. That's the default. But if I go over here and I choose web, boom. Now you have what looks like the old search results we know and love and that were very useful. The problem is that when you conduct a search, right, from the initial Google homepage, or where most people do it, which happens to be right here where you type in the URL. And if you do that, it will default to all and back to seeing that AI stuff. Here's how you fix that. What you wanna do is go right up to the little three dots right here in the upper right and scroll down where it says settings. And you'll wanna choose search engine. And they sort of hide this because you have to go right here. There's a tiny little arrow. You see that a tiny little thing? You gotta click on that. And then it'll show you an area where you can adjust a lot more options. So scroll down to where it says site search. You see that? And click on add. Now for the name, you can put anything you want here. It's just for your reference. I'm gonna call it Google Uncluttered. Now the shortcut is very important and you need to type in google.com. Down here where it says URL, there is a specific string of text that you need to type in here. And I'm going to leave that text for you where you can copy it right down below in the description of this video. Make sure it looks exactly like this and go ahead and click on add. And you'll see it right here. You have one more step. What you need to do is click on the little three dots right here and choose make default. And what that does is it adds it to this list right here. So now if you go to your regular address bar and you conduct a search again, have a look at this. It will default to the web choice and the AI stuff is all gone. Now, if you don't like this and you wanna restore it to how it used to be, simply go back to the area I showed you in your search engine and you'll see the previous Google entry that was right here, the one that was used before you added the new one. Click on the three dots for that one and make it default. The one that you had recently added will disappear and it will be back on this area right here. And in fact, if you want, you can go ahead and delete delete it there. So now if you try to conduct a search again, say you want to find out how to be more romantic, click on that and you're back to that lovely AI, a bunch of tips, all of this stuff right here. Now, because I have not done a Tech Monday in so long, I'm going to give you a bonus add-on for this one. Now, suppose you're conducting this same search, but you're looking for a really helpful video on the subject. You simply click on the videos tab and you'll see a bunch of helpful YouTube videos right here. The problem is like the AI clutter, you'll see a bunch of low value TikTok videos mixed in. Here's how to get rid of those. When you are adding that crazy string of text that I showed you, just put a space right after it and put a minus sign and then TikTok.com. So now when you conduct your search, if you click over to videos, you'll still get all the helpful videos, but all videos from TikTok are gone. Now I didn't cover using mobile devices. However, I am sure if you go to Google, you'll also find articles on how to modify your smartphone browser so that you can avoid having those AI results appear. Anyhow, thank you so much for joining me on today's Tech Monday. If you like today's video, give it the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a new video very soon. Take care.